My name is Kristen Hamer. I am a Calls for Life intern. This summer, I will be serving in Uganda. In 2015, I came and did the West Coast Academy internship where I served here at the International Disability Center and I did a family retreat down in Arizona and then we also traveled to Haiti for an international mission trip. The next steps that I want to take with Johnny and Friends are the Pathway Program. The purpose of it is basically to do disability ministry as my vocation, using the experiences here to build me into a leader for disability ministry. So Kristen and I met in 2015 through mutual friends at our church, and we were married in June of last year. I've been in the military for five years now. Growing up, my grandfather uh, served in World War II, so I always wanted to be like him. He, he would tell me stories of pilots, and uh, my uncle was a pilot, so I knew I wanted to find a way to both fly and serve. What do I love about Kristen? There's so many things I love about her. She's one of the nicest people I know, and she just genuinely cares about uh, the people that she interacts with. Ever since her internship in 2015, she's had an itch to, to go serve again with Johnny Friends and Cause for Life, and this summer she's going to Uganda to, to do exactly that. I know that she's gonna be taken care of and, and in good hands. I think the biggest thing is I'm just gonna miss her like crazy and <laughs> not really know what to do with all that uh, time without her. Her wanting to serve people with disabilities really kind of challenges me as a person because she has a disability of her own. If you weren't to be told, you would never know that she has a disability. She never once let her disability hold her back. I was diagnosed with a visual impairment at the age of eight, and I found out that my vision was slowly deteriorating. With my visual impairment, my central vision has slowly deteriorated. I do not have any central vision, meaning that I have to use my peripheral vision for every task. So as far as schooling, I just need very large text. I use audible things to learn, I use sighted guides when I'm traveling. So really just using my other senses to get through life has been really important. Now I'm taking my Calls for Life experience even deeper by serving here in Uganda. And here in Uganda, I'm learning about how to equip other leaders on how to best do disability ministry. Kristen is a little Southern Belle, and she just is the sweetest thing ever. She's very willing to serve. I'd say she's a servant leader. The interns are here at Kampala School to bless the school by providing professional development and teacher trainings to the staff, as well as to minister to children with disabilities. I've had the opportunity to work with um, an eight-year-old boy here named Danny, and he has cerebral palsy and he also has a seizure disorder. The best word that I can use to describe Danny is joyful. He is always singing and has the biggest smile on his face every time I see him. Here at the Kampala School, I decided to serve in the physical therapy department. I was able to work with Danny and the physical therapist here showed me how to properly do stretches with him and help him stand properly. Kristen has been such a wonderful person. She's the very first intern I worked with ever since Johnny and Friends came to my department for working and helping. And she's been working with Danny and helping him to stretch the joints, making sure his muscles gain strength so that he could be able to be trained how to walk. Danny liked Christine even more than he liked me. absolutely loves to sing. Specifically, he loves to sing worship songs in the morning, and he loves to dance when he's singing, and he's just full of joy. The loss of my own vision throughout my childhood into adulthood, it has gotten worse, and I still sometimes think about what it would be like to be completely blind. Before I, I knew my purpose in Christ, 
I definitely had um, fear about what my future held. As a child, I didn't really think that much of it, but as I got into middle school and into high school, I really was not happy with the fact that I was different and I hated my disability and I tried everything I could to be as normal as possible. I did not want to be associated with people with disabilities because I didn't want to be different. I didn't want people to stare at me or to think that I was um, strange or odd. I didn't want people to feel sorry for me and to pity me. Because when you look at me, you can't tell that I have a disability. I used that to hide my disability in, in whatever ways that I could. I knew that God was calling me to work with people with disabilities, but I was very hesitant. Johnny Erickson Tata came to my university and spoke at our missions conference. And for me, that was a confirmation from God that he was calling me to work with disabilities. One of the main things that I learned was that the church is not complete without people with disabilities and not just people included, but people with disabilities actually serving. The world needs to know more about disabilities and that there are so many false understandings of what disability is like. So every Thursday here at the Kampala School, some of the students are able to go do hydrotherapy. The students are able to get into the water and hold on to floats and just kick their leg. It may be their highlight of the week, and it's a really great way to help with their physical and occupational needs. Today we are going to do a, an activity, and I want you to see what it's like to have a visual impairment or what it's like to be completely blind. So Kristen did a training in visual impairment, and I, I really felt like she was able to set an example for what it means to, have, for one, have a disability, two, what it means to have a disability that is not always obvious to the eye. So what we did was art projects, and some people had glasses to simulate visual impairments, while others had blindfolds to simulate what it's like to be blind. And then there were also people who were able to use their complete vision. It was really interesting to see how the people who did not have glasses or blindfolds, how they served those around them. And then also that trust component that the people with the disability had to trust those around them. I think that's ministered to people in a way where it says there's a lot more to disability than just what we can see. Cause for Life makes a difference in Uganda by, for one, the ministry that we provide. We provide theology on suffering and disability, we talk about how to start disability ministries in churches, as well as in homes and communities. We minister and pray and encourage for those with disabilities. The impact that Calls for Life is having on Uganda is huge. They are um, reaching out to the local church and equipping pastors and leaders in disability ministry so that they can connect to people affected by disability in the community. I think if Cause for Life didn't come to Uganda, it would be detrimental because the Cost for Life team provides such amazing training for locals. And I think that Johnny and Friends has done a fantastic job in making that their banner or their anthem, if you will, and it ministers to the people here. I would definitely encourage people to serve with Cause for Life because it is a great opportunity to not only deepen your faith and to learn more about your identity in Christ, but also to be equipped as a leader in disability ministry and then also to equip other leaders and to continue just growing and growing and growing. I think she's really grown as a leader. I think she's realized that leaders are assertive and leaders step up. But I also think her compassion has expanded for those with disabilities. So I'm leaving, I'm going home today. I'm going back to the US. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss Danny. As he gets older and challenges get even more difficult, I just pray that he never loses the joy of the Lord. My prayer for Uganda is that the idea of disability will be completely changed and that people will have a positive perspective of people with disabilities, knowing and understanding that they have purpose, 
and that they are people with abilities. I have learned that I can use my brokenness to serve others because I see people here who are so broken and they're in need of hope. And I found hope in Christ and my identity in Christ. And I just really want to share that with people so that they can cling to that, knowing that there is an eternal reward ahead of them.